Uh, um, you didn't lose on uh, Tuesday night, but I would imagine it felt like a defeat. What, what have you done since then to try and lift spirits, give the players more confidence, more belief? No, today is the first day that we'll see each other again after the game uh, against Feyenoord. Then, yeah, back to business. I mean, even for players like yours that have won huge amounts of games, so many trophies, all the biggest prizes, do, do they suffer from confidence issues when results don't go the way you want them to? Yeah, of course. This football is a... Football players and football is how... I don't know the translation from the Spanish is a, a mood, uh, you know, how you're the confident. The confident, no, I don't know, is the right word to express. But when the dynamics, I would say, are good, it's always easier. But you have to accept that the situation that we have, that we are right now. And uh, and only we can do, I learned for all my life, is is move forward. And in the good moments and the bad moments, is what you have to do. Prepare well the game in Anfield and continue. So still we are in... End of November in Anfield will be the first day of December, so many, many months to play, many good things to play, and you have to learn and learn and learn, and you can fail down again, okay? The succeed is how many times you stand up when you, again, 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 you fall, you fall. So it's not the other other way, I know, so what we have to do. Um, in recent years, you've had some problems in terms of your arrival at, at Liverpool for this big game, it's obviously a huge game. Have you got any concerns in that regard at all? Has the club taken any kind of measures to make sure the players, yourself, are all arrive safely without a problem? To get to Anfield? No, no problem at all. It will happen once especially, but it was a long time ago. Liverpool making a statement, Jurgen making a statement, so... He's forgotten. Ben. Pep, um, you know what it takes to win this league, obviously. Um, you also know what the table looks like right now. So if you lose at the weekend, you'll be 11 points behind Liverpool. Would that be the end of your title hopes realistically? How do you view that gap? And the situation that we have is not realistic to think about in a big, big target. Situation is think about uh, as soon as possible one game and to will give the good momentum to continue to continue. So and that will come back. But even in the situation, good situations when we have been in the past in November, December, thinking in win the title was not much realistic. But of course, recover a big difference. A team like just lost one game that is in a really good form. They are so powerful in all departments, especially in the boxes. Uh, uh, will be will be difficult, but in the situation that we are, and they lost a lot of games in a row, especially three in the Premier League, and so it's not always. I think about the target when arrive in March, April, where we are right now. Okay, we are one or two months ago. Now is the moment to try to do it. By November, December, it doesn't matter what happened on Sunday. It will be more difficult if we don't take results. That's for sure. But still, there are many, many games to play. Are Liverpool the best team in the world right now, in your opinion? I don't know. It's one of the best for the results, prove it that. So many players together, Arne is making an incredible job. So, but I don't know, when years ago they said City is the best team in the world, I didn't pay attention one second. So to go there and, and take on that challenge, um, how great is the challenge for you and your players where you are right now? Of course, the challenge is how strength, how strong we are as a team in the difficulties in a, that that we are not. In the first knock, we are mm -mm, not a stable that always we have been. So I said many times. So in the past, when we were able to go 3-0 up, we didn't score the fourth, we didn't score the five, but the game was there in our hands, control all departments, and then fell. And now in the first mm -hmm. moments, we are. Mm -mm, I don't know how we're going to react for obvious reasons that we have, for the desperate we want to win, for the some absence of important players. Is that the best test to prove how stable we are is Anfield, because we cannot expect they will not have that moment. And, 
and momentum, and that is how we have to be as a team. Pep, hello. Um, you've obviously been through some tricky times as a manager in your career, but you've never quite faced a run of results like this. When, in your mind, does it become a crisis? You are telling me if you are in crisis? I'm asking you, Pep, because of the of this series of results, yeah. when, in your mind, does it become more than a, than a blip, it becomes a crisis? Up to you, when you are into text and write. So we are second in the table. We are not in good moments in terms of results. In general, I have the feeling that we play more than decent, but not enough to win games. I said many times that maybe that we have to live as a club, as a team. Me, myself, my players live these kind of situations to give what we have done in the past, and we will be back. I know that. I don't know when. <coughs> that is the truth. But. Uh, you can judge the situation that we are. Of course, when a team have controlled the Premier League for many, many years, so it's normal that the situation happened and what's going on. Yeah, but it's football, it's happened. So accept it that the complete normality, that maybe the exception was in the past, not what happened now. And how we stand up again, this is the big success in life. It's how many times you stand up again and again and again. Whatever happened, that are the greatest. And we have done it in the past, and hopefully we can start to do it. On the, the other side of that, Pep, if you can if you can win at Anfield, how much could that kickstart your your whole season? That is the big mistake that your analysis. When Rosal not change absolutely anything, we will move. You'll be better. But the three days against Nottingham Forest has to prove it. If you are not stable, that is not going to happen. You are stable when you are 12, 10, 11, 12 games in a row winning after it's a team like we have done in many years. But now it's just for one game. It's not going to change the feeling how we are as a team. So what we will love, we'll ask, not the results, is the players back. That is what I would like. I just ask the players back to have the team like we created in the beginning of the season to try to go in everywhere to do who we are. And from the beginning of the season, we could not move that. And now, I would say, is, uh, is the situation that we had. And when the, play, the people ask me, what do you want, win games? Yeah. But if we don't have the players, and or later we're going to, to fall down again. And that is what I'm looking for. Razor. Hi, Pat. Um, what do you make of uh, Arna Slot so far in terms of the effect that he's having on the evolution of Liverpool as a team? Oh, it's really good. Have a maybe a more positional game, but the transition to still for the DNA from Liverpool, from Jurgen, always is there. And every corner of free kick for you is a transition for them. How quick, you know, the weapons they have up front always have been since arrived here before with Mane, with Firmino, Salah, now with the other players, with Jota, with uh, Nunez, with uh, Luis Diaz, with, uh, with Salah, always have been there. Team like. Uh, you know the opinion have a respect. North Africa now is a good result, even in the past when we were fighting like the biggest battles we had in my period here against Liverpool, always I have a big, big consideration in this football club. Nothing changed. But of course doing really well. So lost one game in all competitions. That means they are so stable and they are really good. But that is good, we will learn from that. In terms of your squad, uh, are there is there any news in terms of players coming in or, or going out for this? We we'll see today. Today we we'll see. Rob? But um, since you've been at City, you, you've obviously had some really tough games, you know, big finals, big derbies. But because of the circumstances around this one, the run you're on, the run they're on, the difficulty of going to Anfield, do you think this is a, the toughest one individual game you've faced since? since Always have been the toughest one, but now last years have been Arsenal as well. But of course, Liverpool have been the toughest one, yeah, definitely. But this one in particular, because of the, given the run that you're on and the run that they're on. But it happened in long. I said many times in a long careers, and when you are nine, ten years, eleven years, you live all the situations. Fortunately, we live the situation rarely, a few times. It was we're in the other part on the side, but I take it like normal. So I'm not so. Of course, I'm. You know, thinking what we can do, what can I do to the players to help them. But in in a long career as a football player and manager for many years, you live these situations. So. So at the end, yeah, we lost five games and draw the last one when should have win yes or yes. So 
but it's happened. Football sometimes is said, uh, what can happen? It's happened. So don't think much, I would say, in these situations. Go to the principles. And, and when you leave it, accept it. Accept it and challenge it. It's only I can do. No complaining, not blaming, not pointed, uh, no run away for your responsibility. Like I have absolutely all on my shoulders and I have to. And, and I want it. So here's a football club you have to win. And if you don't win, you'll be in trouble. I know that the people said, oh, Pep, why is not in trouble? Why is not suck? But we have done the last eight years, and that's why I have this margin. You know that the people rely on me, the hierarchy, the people to, OK, let's go to do it. It will be completely the opposite. We'll be in the birds. But it's not normal in the big clubs to do the results we have done it. But what you have to do, accept it. That, that's for sure I want to stay. I want to do it. But the moment I feel I'm not positive for the club, for the club, Another one will come, have to be, but I wanted the opportunity. I wanted the opportunity to give me to try it. I don't want to run away. I want to be there. I want to make a rebuild the team in many aspects from now on until the end of the season, the next seasons to, you know, to try to continue up there. So I want to do it. If I ask for that challenge, I would say, or I ask for this opportunity to do it uh, because I feel it. I feel it. I know what I want to do. I know what we need. I know. What do you have to do, knowing that uh, in that moment that our mm -mm consistency that we had, obviously we don't have it right now, but which team around the world in 10 years is consistent during 10 years? Tell me once. Tell me once. It doesn't exist. Not even in NBA, not even in tennis, not even in any sports, not even in golf. In a decade of time, like we have been here in a decade, almost a decade, be consistent, we have done, you don't find it. I'm sorry, we don't find it. It's, 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 it's not nice to live it. Of course it's not nice. But what do you expect? That everything is red carpet, that everything is nice, and everything mm -hmm. is easy. But that proof, how we are as a sportsmen, as a competitors, that prove it. It's easy when you have 10, 12 games in a row, and everybody's fit, and everybody's in his prime, and everything is the birth age, 26, 27, 28. Everything is running well. Yeah, everyone is a compliment. That is easy. No, no. I have, to, I have to put myself now. So it's not excuse. Our road is not there. What do you have to do? Cry all the time your road is not there? All the four central defenders have not been there for a long time in the last month? I have to find a solution. I have to find a way to do it. And this is... Uh, I'm trying every every day. Quite a few hands for the embargo, so we'll go Paul, please. When you've had difficult periods at this club before, you've always said that you've had a lot of support from from the hierarchy, from from Caldo in particular. Have you spoken to, to him this week or anyone around you, and who gives you support at this this yeah. time? We talk since nine years, every no day, but after the games all the time and before sometimes, and yeah, we talk. And he gave me opinion, I give me opinion, Chiki give my opinion, the players give their opinion, and after we try to figure out what they are thoughts and and try to move forward. So he knows perfectly that we are not here for because we are nice. So we have to take our results and he knows that uh, we are going to find a solution. Again and again and again. It doesn't for circumstances that doesn't happen, the club will take the solution, the decision they have to take. And you talked a minute ago about stability, the lack of stability in the team, which is quite rare because we always see your teams as quite solid. Why do you think that is that you don't know how they're going to react after they concede that, that goal? Yeah, you are saying we're a team that we concede few, we concede few, few goals in many years. To win titles, you don't have to concede goals, a few chances. And how many chances had uh, Feyenoord? Three and a half, four, three goals. It's impossible. How many chances we had against uh, Spurs? A lot. How many goals? Zero. So we we are not in the most determined part of that. But that change, you know, change with the players come back and got a good results and and make an effort to leave it more for everyone. Um, in his final season, the summer before his final season, Jurgen rebuilt the Liverpool midfield with the, the, the three key signings. And Arnest Lotz obviously benefiting from that and has taken them on. Do you think you're facing a similar situation here in needing to kind of rebuild the team? 
And is that one of the reasons why you signed said, on for I, said, I understand completely. You have to now do have to change everything. I'm not uh, completely agree with that. So we cannot forget three months ago we were champion of the Premier League. FA Cup final, and we arrive at quarterfinals for the Champions League and being defeat for the way where we play extraordinary against Madrid. It's the same guys, but the football life changing one thing and the other one. The only question I put it here on the table that looks like an excuse, I know that so, and take all responsibility. The squad is really good, but we don't have the squad. So it's not just Rodri, the best player nominated, so it's many, many, many other players. So with that, it's more difficult. And after that, they say, yeah, we need to rebuild. Yeah, we don't have six, seven important players. We have played two weeks, three weeks without four central defenders and two holding midfielders. So the, the part that like, has to be sustainable so is not there. Of course, it's, it's more difficult because all the managers, the teams depend on the quality. When we were success in the past, I was said, we work for the mentality, the quality, and the, our players that we have. The ideas for all the managers are exceptional, all of them. Just to apply for the quality of the players that we have. But right now, we could not. But step by step, the player will come back a little bit. And hopefully, we can be together for, mm -hmm. a, you know, for a long time. But you say, you play bad against Feyenoord. I don't think so. We were 3-0. So, for the substitutions. I know Nathan has been one month injured with 3 0. The most logical thing is not put a lot of effort because in a few days you have 90 minutes more in Anfield. And Kevin, of course, Kevin needs minutes. And, and Makati is a, a guarantee for the control for the game and how it's happened. Yeah, and three teams arrive and make mistakes and we concede three goals. So, yeah, play bad. No, but it's not about play good or play bad. It's, be, it's winning games. When we win the travels and the four in a row, do you think always we play exceptional? Always we win 5 0? No. We were the games like was not good, but we were the fine, we were the way, we were exceptional. To find a way in one way or the other one to win the games. And now, I'm not a genius to announce in front of this beautiful audience that is not the, the case. So. Hi, Pep. Um, Rafa Nadal was with you this this week um your squad has got so much kind of mentality and um strong emotions can you still find ways to use people like nadal to teach them new things <laughs> that would be nice <laughs> be nice. especially it was so easy to do that it was a pleasure to know him. I know he's a Madrid supporter and he came here to go to Anfield to see Liverpool Madrid in Champions League. But before, because his aunt was, we were mates in Barcelona, a friend of mine. And yeah, it was a pleasure to see him. So one of the most incredible athletes of the time. And yeah, we spoke sport and everything and how how it's difficult to maintain for many years with him or Federer or Djokovic has done for many, many years. And at the end, he retired for the injured. Otherwise, we'd be here. He make an incredible sentence. Like I said, I love playing. I want to play tennis, but my body say it's enough. In a career as a football player, tennis is a morning that you won, but your body say it's enough. So he wanted desperately. He loves tennis. He want to do it. But I think... He sent us the find and the period sometimes, you know, the human being is the limit and his sport is, was exhaustive for many games and he in football as well. So, and that's, that is what it is. Set the embargo there for 10.30 p.m.